Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Subzero Xtabyte and today we are going to be playing some more Roblox. Today we are going to try out a really cool slide that I have been told about by my friends. They said that this is the fastest and most popular fidget spinner ride in all of Roblox and I thought that me and Chip would check it out. I am going to actually spawn a card and hop in to start the slide. I think it is designed to actually make you feel like you're a living fidget spinner which is kinda cool. I kind of have a bad feeling feeling that I'm going to get motion sickness at some point. Wow, I am only on the first slide and I am already spinning everywhere and out of control. I love how the Doge card is just behind me following along because I spawned two cards by accident. It would be cool if I got multiple people on here. It's really cool but it looks like there is a tunnel coming up. Hopefully it's not too dark. Oh look, it's lava. The slide is now made of lava and I'm firing straight through the tunnel at a really fast speed now. I did not realize the slide would be this fast and I bet it is going to go on for ages as well. I've been launched into a water slide gutter and now I can head along the slide a bit more. I sure do enjoy water slides, especially when they are this long and exciting. I have a small feeling that Chip would disagree with me however. As he is a robot who runs on electrical currents and stuff, I don't think he likes it when he gets wet to be perfectly honest. My cart really is flipping a bunch. It seems I have been thrown into a town-like setting with all sorts of colorful rainbow buildings which is awesome. Oh wow it looks like there is a lava shoot now that we are going to have to hop to. Whoa that was a close one. Good job that we didn't fall. I wonder where this is going to lead. Oh snap. Look at this chip. It's a giant rainbow section blasting through space. This is incredible. Where exactly have I seen rainbows in space? It seems all too familiar. I am pretty sure this is the coolest looking area of the slide so far. You can see all of the stars whizzing past like at light speed or something. This is actually amazing. What do you think Chip? You guys should try this out too. We have finally busted out and are now sliding down back to earth. Look we are even passing all of the clouds. That's so cool really if you think about it. The slide has started all the way at the top and we are still sliding and falling down. What an amazing course. Back there I even passed the humongous fidget spinner and it looked like you could shoot yourself through the holes if you aimed right. So next time I go on the slide I am going to try and shoot through one of those holes when I get to that bit again. In the meantime I am still sliding on down towards the bottom. It seems like now that we have slid down from the stars we have landed in a water slide river type area that goes through a forest with all sorts of wildlife in it. That is actually really cool and I think it looks beautiful when you look at it from behind as you slide down. For now I have reached the end and it was more or less without any effort and on my first try. I am now a winner which is awesome. I guess now I can go and try out some other stuff with this slide like these different types of dog models that I can choose from. From. I am going to choose the doge and head back to the beginning to try the slide out for a second time. I think it is time to choose a different card so let's try picking something different. It also looks like there are other players checking out the really cool fidget spinner slide. I wonder if you can get anything special by going through the fidget spinner. Oh no, I couldn't get into the cart and now I am falling as a dog through the slide. This isn't good. How am I going to protect myself from all of these flips? I don't think this slide was designed like this especially for dogs. Never mind Roblox people. Wow. This is so intense and crazy. I am flipping everywhere and I am barely hitting anything and I haven't fallen off the slide. Perhaps you are allowed to do this even though it is rather dangerous. I think that I'm going to see how far I can get as a dog. This is actually really enjoyable but I hope that the lava won't burn me alive. That would suck as you all know that I really love lava and enjoy it a lot when it isn't burning and killing me. It seems like we are going to be okay to be honest. The lava is rather cold so it must just be colored orange to seem like it is lava. I wouldn't put real lava in a slide either to be honest. Wow, crashing into the gutter this time around was certainly a lot more bumpy. I am flipping all over the place and almost falling off of the slide and that would be awful. I think this is definitely what it is like to be a fidget spinner. I don't know if you guys have seen these things but they are fairly cheap devices you can flip around your fingers and do cool tricks with and they actually feel really cool to just sit and fidget with for hours. They are a lot of fun and have been becoming really really popular as of recently which is really cool as I have always enjoyed them. Comment below on the video if you have fidget spinners and have tried them out. I am actually making it really far this time without a card and I am now in the special space area that I liked from the first time. It is really cool and interesting. Look you can even see an iron cat on the wall floating through space. 
I knew that the rainbow in space seemed familiar. It is exactly the same as the Nyan Cat rainbow that shoots out of his butt. That is so funny. I love Nyan Cat so much. I wonder if there is any more of him around the map. Oh wow. Did we go through the large fidget spinner this time? We can try again and keep trying until we get it perfect I think. I cannot believe that I have managed to get so far without a card guys this is really good. The only problem is I think that Chip isn't very happy and is holding on to my shoulder for dear life so he doesn't go flying or get destroyed because we aren't in a cart. I couldn't possibly lose Chip, that would be a disaster. It looks like we have died and need to start again. Oh wait, it appears we have been transported to the end. Come on Chip let's head back to the beginning and actually try again but this time with a cart. Oh wow look. This time our cart actually is a Nyan Cat. I knew there would be more Nyan Cat on this map scattered around. That is so cool guys. What do you guys think? What was your favorite cart that I have rode so far? This Nyan Cat is definitely going to be my favorite I think without a doubt. Now we are going to try and survive the slide again and with the cart it will be easier and Chip won't be in so much distress as we go tumbling along. At least we are not a dog this time as well. Wow it looks like we are flying down the course backwards without any possible way to control this cart. This is crazy but I am still having a lot of fun. I recently got a fidget spinner the last time that I was out and I was literally hypnotized to it and was playing it all day. Perhaps I can turn around and show everyone my really cool fidget spinner skills and whatnot in another video. For now all these cart flips are enough evidence for my awesome skills I think. Right Chip? See he definitely thinks so. I think that this Nyan Cat card is actually not helping too much with the speed. All these colored buildings around the place are actually really interesting to be honest. I am pretty sure that you could never count how many houses are here. Oh no. I fell down and now I am dead. That wasn't very good at all was it guys? This isn't very cool. We are going to have to try again and maybe use a cart. We could try another dog model or we could just start again with a regular cart and see if we can complete the slide again once and for all. I cannot believe that after all this time, I was able to complete the slide on the first go and not once since. Actually I have had an amazing idea. I am going to go and slide down the slide all by myself without any cart or dog suit at all. I think this is going to be really great. I am going to go as far as I can and then when I land I can actually start to move and run around and control which way on the slide I go and maybe this time I can make it to the end. Let's jump down and zoom through this water slide. Wow, this is so much fun. I think that you guys should all definitely check out this slide and see how fast you can get down it and maybe even race with your friends. That would be a great idea. I am really glad that the lava isn't hot otherwise it would totally burn me alive and Chip would totally be destroyed by the hot fires and magma but luckily we established earlier that it is all safe to touch. I hope I can reach the drain part without messing up. Oh no. It isn't looking good for me as I think I have fallen. I think this time we are going to need to grab another cart and head to the start of the slide and try again. This is actually really fun and I have been spinning so much. I am kind of getting a little confused and disorientated and a little woozy from all of the spinning but I am pretty sure that I am all good for now. I won't throw up until after the video has ended guys don't worry. I am sure that Chip would not like to see me throw up. Now the cart has arrived and we can hop in and start all over again. This is going to be really amazing and we are going to get to the end here we go again grab hold of something chip this will be another crazy ride i have also decided that i want to get chip his own little fidget spinner as i think it would be really funny and entertaining it would distract him all the time and help him deal with all the amazing and crazy adventures i always go on here comes the waterfall and we are going to zoom down and make sure that we have a great time doing so this is a lot of fun and I really like all of the scenery scattered around. This MLG card is actually really bumpy. By the way guys if you haven't already and you really are enjoying the video then make sure to drop a like down there because every like from my loyal fans and viewers shows me that you guys are really enjoying the content I produce and also you should leave a like for fidget spinners if you really want to. That would be great and make me feel so awesome. You can also check me out on Twitter if you want some time and maybe send me some fan art and different pictures of you playing the same maps and games as me. You can find a link on my channel at Sub-Zero X to Byte. As you can see we are doing pretty well this time round. Our cart isn't bumping about too much and Chip is actually enjoying the ride as we zoom past all of these colored houses. It is actually awesome that we are going so fast because when we were in the Nine Cat cart we couldn't pick up enough speed to get over the ramp and into the lava and water slides. It's funny because sometimes when the cart goes upside down I 
am actually able to knock clip through the floor and see the rest of the map from the outside and that is kinda funny to see in a way. I really do enjoy that rainbow section. It is actually really fun to go through and it makes me feel like a Nyan Cat and that one time that I went on the Nyan Cat roller coaster. It was really fun and you should go and check that video out if you haven't already. It will be somewhere on my channel. I think that it is hilarious that there is a giant fidget spinner just sitting in the middle of the map. It is kinda cool to aim and see if you can go through the holes and I am not going to lie it is really fun to play with fidget spinners in real life as I have mentioned before. You guys should check out some of the trick videos on YouTube. You could even go out and grab yourself your own fidget spinners and try practicing with your friends to see who is the best spinner. That would be great. As you can see just then I bounced completely off of the ramp and failed right at the very end of the slide. That is super disappointing and so annoying. I kinda feel like just saying I did it and pretending that I completed it but I don't think Chip and my viewers at home would be happy if I lied. It seems like there is actually a special fidget spinner item in this game and you can play with it and spin it around. This is actually really cool. I can't believe I didn't spot this earlier to be honest. How crazy. Look Chip, I am flipping my fidget spinner all around, left and right. It seems like I can even sit down and do a bunch of spinning tricks with my hand. Look at how cool that is, Chip. I think that this has been a really fun day so far and I have almost transformed into a fidget spinner from all of the flipping about I have been doing on the slide. I think now I am going to head to the top of the slide with Chip and try again to see if I can finally complete the slide once and for all. This is going to be great guys and I cannot wait. Let's grab another cart. Actually I think I'm just going to jump down the slide without a cart at all. I am just going to wing this and do it all by myself. Oh and I can't forget Chip on my shoulder as well. It probably wasn't such a good idea bringing Chip the robot along with me today considering he is a robot and there is lots of water on this map which means that he could break which isn't good. That isn't a good thing at all. Okay, here I go. Wow without a card. You certainly do a lot of flips. I've hurt my arms and my legs a lot from all of this flipping but hopefully I can heal from all of these horrible bruises I am getting and let's look on the bright side guys. At least the lava isn't real on this map which means I can't get burnt alive and neither can chip so that's kinda cool. Oh wow. It seems like we have landed on this piece of rock and it has a mysterious green slab on it with an Illuminati logo. What on earth could this mean? Is Nyan Cat the Illuminati confirmed? Is this whole side part of a conspiracy that is all to do with the Illuminati? Could it be that perhaps the Illuminati invented fidget spinners to take over all of the children of the world and eventually dominate the planet? Who knows? I think I am just going to move along and ignore all of this because that is probably some sort of creepy easter egg joke or something. I can now continue to go down the gutter and along the water slide and hopefully this time I won't go flying off of the edge of the map. I survived the gutter and now I really need to start picking up speed for the multiple large jumps that are coming up ahead. I need to make sure I don't mess up like I did when I was in the Nine Cat Cart. Oh no. I managed to make the jump but unfortunately I bounced backwards and went flying off the slide again. This is not good at all. This is rather annoying but perhaps the slide was not made for people to complete without a cart. Okay okay, I have decided. I am going to actually try and complete this slide once and for all the right way with a decent cart and trying the way it was made and maybe I can make it like I did the first ever time I tried it. I can't believe I was so lucky the first time to actually complete the slide and get straight past everything and all of the obstacles. If you can even call them obstacles. Actually, I'm not going to bother with carts anymore. They have become rather boring. I am just going to launch myself straight into the slide and go spinning like crazy. Finishing the slide doesn't even matter at this point because I am basically just trying to become like a fidget spinner spinning around the map and I think that feeling is far more important than a sense of winning at the end of the day. The slide is actually going pretty well so far and I am picking up a lot of speed. I am sure that we are going to have a great last slide. Make sure to do as I said and come and check this map out if you really want to and come try to beat my time of complete the slide and see how many crazy flips you can do in the process. Thank you so much for watching the video this far guys and hopefully you have had as much of a good time as Chip and I have. We are happy although a little bit nauseous after such a crazy flipping ride all the way down to the bottom of the slide so many times. To be honest I think that Chip also has some water in his wires that we are going to have to dry out at some point. Again thank you guys very much for watching the video. I have been Sub-Zero X to Bite and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye.